So today we're gonna to show you how to turn any PC, Mac, laptop or desktop into a Chromebook. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, Google has come up with some software called Chrome OS Flex that allows you to breathe new life into old hardware. And that's the key point here. You have an old laptop, you have an old desktop, maybe it's a little slow, maybe it's a little clunky, maybe it's covered in viruses, that type of thing. Well, you can actually run this software from a thumb drive and take over the entire computing hardware system having a really nice, clean, auto-updating, virus-free, cloud-based software system. And it's completely free to do, and you don't even have to commit to it permanently. You can actually try it temporarily just by booting the thumb drive. So let's show you how to do this and also talk about some of the requirements for this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually set up a USB thumb drive to do this operation. And you can do this on any computer. It doesn't have to be the computer that's going to be the target of the upgrade, but you need to go to Chrome, you need to go to extensions, and you need to search for Chromebook recovery utility, which is what I have on the screen here. And you need to add it to Chrome. And what this does is it gives you an extension in Chrome to create this boot USB drive that we're going to create. So I'm going to add it to Chrome and it's gonna add the extension here. And then basically I now have this in my account and I can go to it and I just click on the Chromebook recovery utility in my extensions list on the browser. And then here you get this pop-up that's basically saying create recovery media for your Chromebook. You need at least an eight gig or larger USB flash drive or an SD card depending on how your computer is gonna boot, um, that you don't mind erasing. So once you plug this in, it's gonna wipe everything off of it. So you're gonna to wanna to back up anything that's on that particular device. So let's get started. And now it's gonna identify, it wants you to identify your Chromebook. Now you may not know what computer you're gonna put this on, or you might have multiple computers you're gonna put this on. So you're gonna select a model from a list and you're gonna choose from the manufacturer, you're gonna choose Google Chrome OS Flex as the manufacturer, and you're gonna select a product, which will be the Chrome OS Flex. Now this says developer unstable, because right now, as we're recording this, this is still kind of a early beta program, but it's eventually gonna be something that'll be available everywhere, and you don't need to be a special developer to get access to this. You just do what I just told you, and you'll be able to see it and install it without any fuss. So I'm gonna choose that, I'm gonna hit continue, and now it's gonna ask me to install, or insert a USB thumb drive or SD card, now select the media you'd like to use, and it's in this particular case, I have a 16 gig Kingston USB drive. I'm gonna hit continue, and it's gonna basically wipe everything off this device. And don't worry about the advanced settings here, and create now. And basically this will take about two or three minutes. So basically the Thumb drive is ready, and you can create multiples of these if you want. Seems to take roughly about 20 minutes on my particular hardware, um, but that's okay. Um, before we go in and use it though, I wanna show you the certified models list. And this was just updated at the end of March, and this is kind of tricky to find. It's under support.google.com, uh, Chrome OS Flex Help. Just Google Chrome OS Flex certified models and you'll get this list. And this list is basically all the brands that Google has tested this particular installation method with. And you can see here, here's all the Apple ones. It's pretty much any Apple product made in the last half a dozen, if not longer time. Um, for today's example though, we're gonna use my Lenovo 14W, which is verified to work. Um, this is a, probably a three or four year old laptop and uh, it runs fine. It runs Windows 11 just fine, but I wanted to try this Chromebook experience on this, so we're gonna do that. So now we have the thumb drive all set up and ready to go. There's one more step we need to do before we can use it on a PC or Mac computer, and that's change the boot order of the machine so that it actually prioritizes the thumb drive instead of your built-in hard drive. Because you don't want to boot up that old computer now because maybe it can't even boot up properly. And to do this, we need to put it in the USB port before we boot it up. So I'll do that. And then I'm gonna press the power button here. And on this particular machine, it's F2 to get into the BIOS change settings. 
Uh, on a Mac though, you're gonna just hold on option and it'll give you a boot up option to choose the thumb drive from that. So powering on and you're just gonna basically mash F2 until it comes up. And there we go. So when you get into the BIOS, you're gonna have lots of information. It'll look like Windows 95. You're gonna go over to the boot tab and boot priority. In this particular case, you wanna do legacy support, legacy first. And down here in this EFI section, the, the order of booting is basically the Windows hard drive. In this case, the Windows boot manager, the SanDisk memory system that's in there. And then this Linpus Lite, the Kingston Traveler, which is my USB thumb drive. We're gonna go to that, and then you're gonna press F5 to, or F6 to bring it to the top. So it's gonna boot from the thumb drive first, then the SD card or the memory uh, on this particular laptop. You do that so that it actually will boot from the thumb drive first and not touch your uh, existing installation. If you decide to go for a permanent install, you're not gonna have to worry about this anymore, but for today's purposes, we're gonna do that. I can hit F10, save and reboot. If all goes well, we should get Chrome OS Flex is booting now. Now, because this is booting from a thumb drive and not on your hard drive or your memory that's currently installed, it's gonna be a little slower. When you actually install this permanently, it'll be much faster. And here we go. So now we're gonna get started. Now you're presented with two options. You can install this and that's the permanent install that'll wipe the hard drive, or you can try it first, which will boot it off of the thumb drive. And we're gonna do that just to show you how this works. Now the benefit of having it off the thumb drive is that you can actually use this as a, tr as a portable traveling Chromebook that you can go to anybody else's laptop and boot up their laptop or their desktop and have your own install on the thumb drive, which is kind of cool. Now you have the uh, terms and service to accept. And once you accept those, you have another option. If you're setting this up for yourself or if you're setting up for a child, you can set up the parental controls as well. We're gonna set this up for me, for you in this case. And then basically it's going to boot and give me a few more options uh, like signing in. So I'm gonna log in to my Gmail account now this will also give you the ability to sync any uh, apps, settings, and other things that you have in Chrome. So things like your bookmarks, that type of thing can show up here. And I'm gonna just say no thanks, because it'll just take extra time. And you can also um, let Google know about your hardware if you want. And then you have the ability to enable the Google Assistant, which we're not gonna do. You can also connect your phone so if you have an Android phone, you can actually pair it with this and then you can have access to a lot of your phone settings and services directly on the Chromebook. But we're not gonna do that today. And we're all set. So now, basically we have a ready to go Chromebook running on top of Windows 11 in this particular case. But you could easily be on top of Mac OS as well. All right, so now we've booted up the Chrome OS Flex is now sort of running on top of my Windows 11 installation on this Lenovo. And as you can see, I have basically a Chromebook here. I go over here to the start menu and I have access to all my Google apps. I can go to Chrome, I can go to files, Gmail, chat, you name it, it's here. It's, if it's in the Google world at least. And they even have a app store uh, as well. So. I'm gonna go into the settings here though, and just show you, you know, you've got all of your different settings and options, personalizations. Um, you have the ability to do a number of things on a Chromebook that you can't easily do with other things. You can actually install Android apps on this. You can also uh, run Linux on this as well. It's something new that uh, Google's sort of enabled Chromebooks to do. So it's a really great way to sort of experiment with these things in a non-destructive way using older hardware that you might not be using anyways. So I think it's a fantastic free tool that you can use to bring some new life into some old hardware, but also give you a chance to try some new things that you might not have tried before as well. So I would recommend checking out Chrome OS Flex from Google. It's a free download and a non-destructive install or a permanent install if you'd like.
If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you in the comments as well as to other kinds of videos you'd like us to do and feature. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that we notify you when there's a new video up.